In the heart of Turkey, a colossal engineering spectacle has shattered all world records. The Ilsu Dam, a concrete face rock filled dam on the mighty Tigris River, stands as a testament to human ambition and innovation. With a price tag of $200 billion, it's a project of epic proportions. But its journey is riddled with controversy and challenges. From flooding ancient Hassan Cave to reshaping landscapes, the Ilsu Dam is rewriting history and redefining our relationship with nature. Join us as we explore the monumental impact of this Turkish mega dam. The Ilsu Dam is a concrete face rock filled dam on the Tigris in Turkey, next to the village of Ilsu and on the outskirts of the provinces of Mardin and Renak. It is one of the 22 dams that make up the Southeastern Anatolia project, and its functions include producing hydroelectric power, controlling flooding, and storing water. When completed, the dam will create a 10.4 billion cubic meters reservoir and host a 1,200 megawatt power plant. The dam's construction started in 2006 and its completion date was once projected to be 2016. The significantly smaller Kizre Dam will be built as part of the project for irrigation and power. The Ilsu Dam's impact on historic Hassan Kaif and local communities is profound and complex. This ancient city, with a history spanning over 10,000 years, now bears the brunt of the dam's consequences. Many of its historic structures and archaeological sites are lost beneath the dam's reservoir, resulting in the irreparable loss of cultural heritage. The dam's construction has also necessitated the displacement of local communities. Villages and hamlets have been relocated, while others face partial or complete submergence, disrupting residents' lives and fracturing communities. This multifaceted impact has ignited an ongoing and impassioned debate about the delicate balance between progress and preservation. As a result, the dam lost funding from abroad in 2008. Prior to the dam being filled, the majority of the historic buildings in Hassan Kif were transferred to the new Hassan Kif. Late in July 2019, the dam's reservoir started to fill. Rainfall has caused the dam to fill to a height of up to 100 meters above the riverbed and to hold 5 billion cubic meters of water. On April 1, 2020, the water level had risen to a height of 408.2 million. After finishing the testing of the spillway, DSI began testing two turbines for the generation of energy. The dam reservoir now contains 7.6 billion cubic meters of water. On April 19, 2020, the water storage crest level was 513 meters. To reach the highest storage level, a 12-meter increase would be required. Its power plant is expected to reach full capacity by the end of 2020, and the first of its six generators was put into service on May 19, 2020. Since June 19, 2020, three hydro turbines have been in operation, and three more are being tested. The dam has so far provided $51 million in energy to the economy. The EIE had finished evaluating the sites technically and economically by 1975. Geological considerations led to the choice of Ilsu as the optimal location. The Ilsu Dam and the Kizri Dam should be built downstream, according to a feasibility assessment and final design by international consultants, 1980-1982. Before the dam was formally included in the State Hydraulic Works Development Program in 1997 or 1998, there had been little progress on the project for more than 15 years. The dam's first stone was set, and initial construction started on August 5, 2006. 96 percent of the building was completed in June 2017. The dam's construction was finished in February 2018. Due to the lack of water in Iraq, the reservoir's impoundment was scheduled to start on June 1, but was postponed until November and then 2019 after further detail. Late in July 2019, impoundment got underway. The hydroelectric power generating would begin in February 2020, as of November 2019. As of 1st April 2020, the dam's water elevation level was 498.2 meters as a result of rainfall. According to CNN Turk, quoting the State Hydraulic Works DSI, by an AA journalist, Ilisu Dam reached its maximum water level of 513 meters on April 19, 2020, which is less than 12 meters shy of the 525 meters maximum conservation level. Flooding will completely or partially damage 199 villages and hamlets. 
Many of the hamlets in the area have been depopulated as a result of the 30-year battle between the Turkish government and the PKK, and as a result, not only the others who currently reside in the area, but also their original residents will never be able to return home. Witness history in the making as the Ilsu Dam redefines Turkey's landscape and energy sector. With its reservoir slowly filling, it's set to deliver 1,200 megawatts of power and much-needed irrigation, promising to meet the region's energy and agricultural demands. However, this transformation comes at a cost, as the dam's impact on historic Hassan Kaif and local communities sparks an ongoing debate about the delicate balance between progress and preservation. The story of Il Su Dam is a testament to the complex interplay between development, heritage, and environmental stewardship, leaving us to ponder the path forward.